many, many people want to climb Everest because, as George Mallory said in 1923, because it is there, it is the highest point of Earth. And they want to go to the highest point on Earth. I came to Kathmandu thinking I was going to stay for about three or four years in September 1960, but I've been here ever since. And I just kept meeting expeditions and I've been still doing it. I got to go run off and see another expedition very soon. It, it's, it's got a mystique of its own, I guess. And bragging rights are enormous. You go home, I climbed Everest to the summit. The first person in that village, maybe that state or that county or whatever, it just um, makes a hero out of some of them. Mount Everest can be easy if you know what you're doing, but it's useful to know, <laughs> have to have, know what, how to climb. But you'll be astonished at some of the people who go now and they don't know what they're doing. And sometimes they die. When Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay climbed to the summit of Everest, May the 29, 1953, it was a remarkable achievement. They were the first ever to get to the top. Well, that's the highest point on earth. It's an enormous achievement and uh, nobody else can be the first. <laughs> Sir Edmund Hillary was a very modest man. He was a very friendly man, very easily accept, uh, accessible. He was an exceedingly careful planner. He knew what he wanted to do. He knew that he could do it, like climb a mountain or build a school. Or, so he was very, very, very well organized man. Climbers and climbers, climbing has changed quite a lot in the last 60 years since Everest was first climbed. In the early 90s, you got the commercial climbs. That changed the picture quite a lot because then you weren't getting just climbing club members or army climbing teams, but you were getting the ordinary citizen, some of whom had climbed before and some of whom hadn't and don't, but should never be climbing in, on the highest mountain in the world, but there they are clogging up the route and slowing everybody down and not always come home, coming home. So that has increased the numbers enormously. There are routes that have never been attempted on Everest. There's a huge east face, which is entirely in Tibet. So you have, you can pioneer routes on Everest. People say it's all be, always been climbed. Well, it hasn't. Oh, I hammer away at women no woman has pioneered anything in Nepal in climbing. For God's sake, get on with it. They are not pioneering rules. They are playing catch up with men. Well, they should get on, get out of that way, and go do something new and different.